Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Alex said, Good evening. Um, Ajay Maurya, Deva Bhrata, and many more who are all online. Can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear for all of you, Doctor, before we make a great beginning? Alex Seth and many more. Yes, very good to see Kaja Mohyuddin, Meenu Jasmine, and everybody. Good. So today we are supposed to start at 1 p.m. But uh, there is a Ganesh Nimanjan in the community. Lot of DJ music is on. So I thought I got a little late. Anuja, Satya and many more. Very nice to see all of you people. So let's make the great beginning. I hope all of you have uh, attempted the test in the online MBBS.com uh, because if you attended the test, it is more easy for us to, uh, it is more easy for us to go fast. How many of you have not taken the test and attending this extempore? Can you please raise the hands? I wish that you take the test for our Sunday discussion so that this discussion can go a little more faster so that I can reinforce the concepts for you very fast. Right? Huh. So let's make the great beginning, Doctor. Can you once more punch whether the voice is loud and clear? Yes. Good. A 65 year old man presents with painless hematuria, IVU is normal, prostate is only mildly enlarged, there is only a mild frequency, what is the most appropriate next step that you want to do? Keep punching your answers doctor, please punch your answers, uh, Ketan ready and many more, yes, please punch your answers so that uh, so I am running fast in answering the questions. Um, if you are punching answers, it will be like a proactive participation. Very good. Uh, Prithvi Raj is thinking MRI, but Adnan Dani is absolutely right. Flexible cystoscopy. Whenever there is any painless hematuria elderly person, it indicates carcinoma of the bladder. Bladder ko dekhne ke liye flexible cystoscopy, nothing can beat it. That becomes the answer. But what is the important surgical aphorism that you need to remember here? Elderly gentleman complaining painless hematuria. USML ho, PLAB ho, NEET PG ho. The answer is bladder cancer is the one that you need to basically suspect. Now, doctor. Um, a 74-year-old smoker presented to the GP with the cough and shortness of breath and he is being shown to be diabetic, hypokalemic, diabetic and hypokalemic. Looking at this pigmentation pattern, looking at this typical perivoral pigmentation and on the fingers also there is a lot of pigmentation, right? So looking at this pigmentation pattern, you should think of the possibility of ectopic ACTH production, which is very, very typical, especially smoker, is a very important uh, clue for the diagnosis. And Cushing's disease is often the result of pituitary ACTH secreting adenoma that will also cause other things like headache, visual disturbances, those things will be there in the history. Right, Doc? Now, a 44 year old woman lost weight over 12 months. She also noticed episodes that her heart is running very fast. And you have been given ECG. What do you see in this ECG, Doctor? Are you able to see the absence of the peak? almost like a sawtooth like uh, appearance doctor 
absolutely so that is the reason you should think of atrial fibrillation and the cause of the atrial fibrillation is the thyroid commonly so that is the reason thyroid function tests are the immediate tests that you need to basically order right doc now 79 year old anorexic male has got thirst and fatigue thirst thirst and fatigue frequency urgency dribbling terminal dribbling he is also anemic then you have been given a ECG which a dissolute lipemia typically lead to prolong this elderly man who has the frequency urgency terminal dribbling you should think of prostate cancer agar prostate cancer hai to hypocalcemia kyo hona prostate cancer lead to obstructive uropathy leading to chronic renal failure the moment crf occur that lead to development of a decreased vitamin d production and that lead to development of the hypocalcemia is what you have to ultimately remember i am so happy that dip karna bahut dikkat hota hai there are lot of tensions in maintaining the quality of the mobile app whatsapp jo hota hai simple messenger hai sabke paas hai right so we can have a personalized connect with each other if it were to be whatsapp so i just thought let me try this innovation and luckily lots of students have joined and every day new students are joining we are all enjoying morning 6 am to night 10 pm there is a at least 100 120 mcqs are discussed every day and all of you are very actively answering those questions that is the that is the way it should be proactive preparation right doc now a diffuse t wave inversion qt prolongation these are the classical features of the hypocalcemia is what you have to remember now the only thing is in this particular patient there is a the increased age anorexia anemia they are all in favor of the carcinoma of the prostate but the only discrepancy in this question is right in this question is the frequency of urine to hai that is more often a hypercalcemic feature thirst is a hypercalcemia feature but ecg anyway is showing you hypocalcemia with the prolongation of the qt interval that is a good uh, that is the way you are able to crack the question now doctor 64 year old who is on aspirin at the rvastat in ramipril and his ecg has been given to you what is so characteristic feature about his ecg he doesn't feel like doing anything so what is the most important characteristic feature of this ecg see doctor you are able to find the presence of q wave presence of a q wave what does it indicate doctor presence of a q wave r ke pehle jo negative wave hota hai q wave q wave presence of q wave is indicator of ischemia ischemia ajit sharma said sir i joined a little late but a amazing discussion thank you very much khush hua mogambo hum roz sham ko 2 ghante live online youtube mein milte hain so whatsapp wale youtube wale ko maximum exploit karenge hum right you don't need a mobile app a very uh, what you call high five technology is not really required right so a simple whatsapp simple youtube sit anywhere stay anywhere be connected and then study every day that is the whole important secret doctor so thank you so much ajit and preeti for uh, complimenting our whatsapp revolution for the neat pg preparation please also share the link with all your friends invitation link and uh, if the group is already full you can always call our helpline our helpline 
हमारे व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में आपको नॉलेज मिलेगा नोट्स मिलेगा ऑडियो फाइल्स मिलेगा वीडियोस मिलेगा स्टडी मेट्स मिलेगा वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आप केरला के हैं मगर कश्मीर का क्लासमेट uh, मिलेगा मिलके पढ़ाई करने के लिए दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द गेम डॉट एन राइट नाउ ए सिक्सटी फोर ईयर ओल्ड ऑन एस्प्री नेटर वॉज स्टार्टिंग सो नाउ वॉट यू फॉर्म इज ए इश्कमिक हार्ट डिजीज द बॉटम लाइन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज इश्कमिक हार्ट डिजीज में वॉट इज द एंटी डिप्रेसेंट ऑफ चॉइस सिटलोप्राम सिटलोप्राम so on the same instance let us quickly finish some more questions depression with obesity what is the antidepressant of choice obese person depressed fluoxetine because fluoxetine is one of the side effect is weight loss that is the reason it is will help if there is a depression with obesity depression with the sexual dysfunction what to do mirtazapine mirtazapine so this kind of depression with sexual dysfunction very common in clinical practice aap gynecologist ho pediatrician ho general medicine doctor ho kuch bhi ho the patient will ask you doctor can you please help me in that matter you should say why not i have studied uh, for the neat pg very well i will just reconfirm with my psychiatry classmate and uh, we'll try to decide uh, what dose of mirtazapine that you can be started on so depression with the sexual dysfunction very important after stroke people get depression the best drug to use there is not triptyline is what you have to uh, basically remember then depression with obsessive compulsive disorder is clomipramine clomipramine and finally depression with ischemic heart disease citalopram citalopram is considered to be the drug of choice is what you need to remember right ha so alex is asking sir can you also please help me oh neat pg ka depression ka pehla depress hone ka kuch bhi nahi hai neat pg preparation mein only thing is some useless crap you need to remember reproduce in the exam hall right so neat pg ka depression nahi rehna bole to you have to stay in the whatsapp group of study group of the online mbbs.com right so second is keep following us on the youtube naya naya videos dalenge hum roz and subscribe to our video library 600 hours of video content covering 953 topics next four months ke liye we are giving it at a throw away price so you won't be depressed at all now doctor 67 year old man after the stroke presents with a left sided ptosis constricted pupil that means there is a hardness there is a loss of pain and temperature on the right side and uh, typically his uh, body and left side of the face Uh, he lost the uh, uh, temperature which part of the brain is affected is a very important question alek is saying sir neat pg a sunday mock test ka score bahut low aaya simple doctor you analyze what topics we need to improve the whole purpose of the sunday grant test is Adi Shankara Charyas, Tasmat Jagrata Jagrata. Always be careful, be focused. That is most important. So you should constantly get reminded about. Bhaiya, a important topic hai. This is the focus topic hai. You have to do the revision. Bolke reminder ke liye ham Sunday grantes lagate. So don't get depressed about uh, the scores at all. Right now, medulla. It is a classical case of lateral medullary syndrome. Why does it happen, doctor? Pica, pica, posse inferior cerebellar artery is the one which is typically affected. No doctor. Sixty-year-old man presents with the dysphagia with a rat tail. Rat tail. What do you remember? Echolasia. What is important, doctor? There is a dysphagia for both the solids and liquids. That is an important clue. 
सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स दोनों को डिस्फेजिया है उसका मतलब है इट इज ए न्यूरोमस्क्यूलर न्यूरोमस्क्यूलर कॉज फॉर द डिस्फेजिया is what you have to remember right doctor now i'm just running through the uh, all these powerpoint slides are available in the onlinemvbs.com video library right when you subscribe you will get all of them so don't worry that's the reason i'm just running through it don't uh, mistake me now a man undergoes pneumonectomy after surgery there is hyponatremia what could be the cause of this biochemical change after surgery there is a development of hyponatremia so what could be the cause there should be some hormonally active tumor which is essential for the sodium concentration to build must have been removed that is the underlying cause so you should remember the small cell lung cancer produces acth like peptide acth like peptide that acth like peptide will cause excess amount of mineralocorticoid activity that lead to development of hypernatremia and suddenly if you happen to surgically remove it what will the patient end in he will end in hyponatremia is what you should remember a pregnant lady came with the pain in the calf pain in the calf right uh, then uh, there is a local rise in temperature what is the best treatment you want to start the lady on always heparin is best any time in pregnancy but the oral anticoagulants are strictly contraindicated absolutely contraindicated in first trimester so that is the reason typically heparin is given in first trimester and before delivery and in the intermittent period we will be giving the oral anticoagulants is what you need to basically remember right ha huh. ajit is saying sir can we know about the schedule of discussion subject date by schedule and test and discussion schedule definitely doctor definitely i will uh, post it presently we are posting every day around 100 image based questions in the whatsapp groups along with the discussion A lot of students are saying instead of like that sir why don't you post uh, topic wise mcqs every day so that we are all prepared about that particular topic and accordingly next to four months uh, we can have uh, a planned uh, group discussion among ourselves which is a great way of contribution that's a very good thought so uh, we are going to do it from uh, maybe by a, give me a couple of days of time i will give you the schedule what are the 8 to 10 topics every day and what are those uh, topics um, and we will be posting in the 8 to 10 topics uh, around 100 to 120 questions every 5 minutes a question is being posted and you can carry on the discussion same time you can also sync your uh, preparation for the um, pg entrance so that's how we will try to make it happen right yes uh alex says sir random mein maza hai orderly diye to kya maza hai but sometimes what happens actually in a orderly manner we have arranged it in our uh, 120 day program doctor in uh, online mbbs.com video library waha aapko orderly method mein every day there are about uh, 3 400 mcqs which have been discussed you need to invest every day 5 5 hours on those mcqs and video discussions but group discussion is important because that is how you will be active enjoy the preparation so let's let's look into it yeah try now uh yes so 53 year old female with rheumatoid arthritis came with the hamstrings which are in spasm the knee how is the knee doctor very red swollen what does it remind you septic arthritis is what it reminds you so what is the single best examination you want to do in her case 
You should remember joint aspiration for the cytology, culture and sensitivity. That is what you should remember. Now doctor, a 80 year old man presented in pain in his lower back and hip. He also complains of waking up in the night and he has urgency as well as jubilee. So what you should remember by all this story, urgency, dribbling, elderly man waking up in the night, possibility of prostatic malignancy and why low back pain and hip because of the metastasis. That's how you can be able to conclude prostate cancer as Ritu Raj rightly says. So thank you so much Ritu Raj today has paid a subscription fee and joined in the online mbbs.com video library. Always our, uh, our, our online mbbs.com employees say, Sir, you have free me teaching karna chalu kiye. Kaun join hoga, sir? Bolke bolte. I always tell them. See, point is, the knowledge is unfathomable. Right? So, once upon a time, it is supposed to be free. So, uh, but at the end of the month, we need to pay the salaries of our employees. That can only happen if uh, you guys happen to join for and buy the subscription, which is greatly helpful for you. And we are not like any other, uh, I mean, we are commercial, but we don't have any price depending upon the pocket of the person. I can be able to uh, subscribing subscribing to the program right now um, let's go to the next question a 18 year old female typically has got these lesions which are only on one side of the face vesicular lesions very painful that is a very important clue to say that they are shingles is what you should remember in fact it can be both because varicella and shingles are interchangeable terms right interchangeable terms now doctor a 32 year old lady bank manager in the new delhi referred because of the history of tiredness and the pain in the joints tiredness and pain in the joints the autoimmune screen is saying smooth muscle antibodies positive smooth muscle antibodies positive so what is the most appropriate investigation doctor so smooth muscle antibodies asma asthma smooth muscle antibodies the classical of autoimmune hepatitis that is the reason you need to do liver function test is considered the treatment steroid is the treatment right investigation is liver biopsy definitive investigation that's what you should remember and you will be adding azathioprine with the steroid in order to reduce the dosage of the steroid that is another important point so what all that you find in the serological pattern in case of the autoimmune uh, hepatitis doctor ANA, asthma anti lkm1 anti sla which is soluble liver antigen these are all the things that you find is what you should remember now doctor, <clears throat> recurrent chest pain, finger clubbing, offensive stool, offensive stool, that means steatoria, finger clubbing is there, chote bacche mein, recurrent chest pain is there, what does it basically suggest? It suggests the cystic fibrosis, so sweat test is the thing that you need to basically do, sweat test is what you have to do so it is on the chromosome number seven is what you should remember mutation in chromosome number seven so finger club being cuffed with purulent sputum crackles weasels especially in the upper lobes you should think of the cystic fibrosis a patient is brought to the emergency one day after being listless there is a non-blanching rash and what advice would you give to the parents is a very important question. So looking at this rash, which is non-blanching, that means 
it is more purpuric is what you should remember so doctor so it is a case of meningococcal meningitis because there is a listlessness so all the family members should be given the rifampicin prophylaxis rifampicin prophylaxis that is what you have to basically remember now doc a 47 year old has temperature of 39 degrees he is delirious developed blisters mainly on the trunk mainly on the trunk and he has traveled five months ago to puri bhuvaneshwar mein radhayatra radhayatra ko jaake aaya hai ye banda so what is your diagnosis it is chicken pox typically chicken pox when it happens in the adults it starts on the trunk is what you need to remember and chicken pox also lead to encephalitis incubation period is 10 to 21 days Though there is a travel history, that is only a little uh, confusing uh, fact. So it has nothing to do with getting chicken pox on that particular day. And why not? It is shingles. Shingles is painful. MCQ doesn't mention that. Shingles has got a dermatomal distribution, whereas chicken pox is mainly peripheral and truncal in distribution, is what you have to ultimately remember. No, no. A 64 year old patient with diarrhea, extremely watery. And what is this doctor? Villus adenoma, villus adenoma. And that typically leads to development of hypokalemia, which is a known dyselectrolytemia. There's an acute gout attack. Which drug should be given to relieve the symptoms? NSAIDs. Allopurinol, no. When there is acute gout, no. Allopurinol, no. It is only given either prophylactically after for managing the chronic gout or prophylactically but not acutely that is a very important point uh, commonly asked by the examiner. A patient who is lying down on the operating table has presented uh, Ajit Sharma is asking please change your pencil color red not much visible if we become uh, white doctor suddenly a white slide a white slide will come let's try yellow we will try yellow sharma ji ke baat bhi hum maan lena hai try karenge yellow try karenge right ha right very good now it tera ut ke aa rahe magar white color pe White color will not be seen. That's the whole problem. So radial nerve injury, doctor. So it is the radial nerve injury with the wrist drop. Now, a patient previously on 120 milligram slow release oral morphine. His dose increased to 200 milligrams. He still has got a significant pain. And also there is a constipation. How do you want to manage this scenario is a very important question. Whatever, wonderful 108 online students, I am so happy. Please also tell your classmates. Every Sunday, there will be a question paper which is hosted on onlinembbs.com. Onlinembbs.com. Right, Doc? Uh, mock test on the mock test page we will mention you in the whatsapp group what is that particular uh, link on the online mbbs.com where this uh, uh, question paper is hosted aap raat mein khatam karo question paper ko 300 questions ko or early morning khatam karo and afternoon of sunday we conduct this live online uh, interactive discussion Right? So also tell your friends, there will be at least 30 to 35 image based questions we will be giving, clinical vignettes to keep the paper as closely as possible similar to what it happens in the real need PG, a little tougher than the real need PG, real need PG, it's not tough, right? Huh. So 
Uh, yes. Kishan Reddy is asking a very good question. Sir, is there anything um, only for this uh, uh, four months? Definitely, Dr. Kishan. 9008688356. Kindly give a call to this number and they will be more than happy to um, offer you the entire video library, mock test, everything and uh, all the powerpoints are available over there for you to do the revision. For a throwaway price, you will be surprised. So please do call our helpline. Yeah. Now, whenever a scenario like this is there where even 200 mg oral morphine also other pain manage nahi ho raha to then what you uh, what you need to do you need to replace the morphine with oxycodone is what you need to remember right uh, okay iman alvi uh, maybe sunday a boss like me will uh, continue to work, um, but uh, uh, there can be, please WhatsApp your number doctor, that's more easier. Our people will quickly check, uh, quickly check. There are employees who are working with me for the past 20 years. When I started coaching the students, un dinon se kaam kar rahe hamare saath. Sunday ho, Monday ho, afternoon ho, night ho, midnight ho, they pick up the call and then help the students uh, in counseling them for, for joining the courses. So no worries, please watch them, right? So uh, they will be able to catch up. So you have to replace morphine with oxycodone is what you have to basically remember. Now, 40 year old woman notices increasing lower abdominal distension. Right? Huh. Increasing lower abdominal distension. And uh, on evaluation, you have a mass found arising from the pelvis. So, uh, yes, arising from the pelvis. So, what is the possibility in this 40 year old woman? Always ovarian carcinoma. Think of it. A resident of a nursing home, resident of a nursing home has got this kind of a lesions, which are very itchy, very itchy. So, what is the most likely possibility in this given case? Especially, rat me itchy. They are very itchy in the night. So, night me itchy hone wale lesions kya hota hai? Typically between the uh, two fingers in the web space, scabies. So, that is the reason you need to offer 5% permethrin, which is considered to be the very important uh, investigation, I mean uh, treatment. Now, a peripheral blood smear has been shown to you, peripheral blood smear. Looking at it, you should be in a position to recognize falciparum, right? So, it is typically falciparum. Then, the organism which is being shown to you with the basal bodies, this is the problem with the blue color, basal bodies or uh, anterior flagellae, then uh, there are uh, ventral flagellae. Looking at all that, what is your uh, conclusion? Typically, in this, for this, the, only the cyst is infective is what you should understand. Now, what is the bone marrow? Bone marrow, what is the uh, finding? It is a amastigot form of the Lishmania Donovani is what you have to basically remember. Now, the liver biopsy specimen is showing refractile hooklets. What is the most likely possibility? It is echinococcus. Peripheral blood smear in a patient with elephantiasis. You are able to see in the peripheral smear. So what is the most likely possibility? Bucararia bancorofti. Now this 
bile stained egg which you are seeing what is the most likely possibility trichuris trichuria this this is a simple question so that you won't cry what is this uh, vaccination b c g is what you need to ultimately remember right now a three year old has history of cough and cold for one week with high grade fever for four days chest x-ray has been shown in spite of all this there is no tracheal deviation is not there so that is more likely to be pneumonia is what you have to remember so it is a case of lobar consolidation of the lung is what you should be able to conclude now in this polio vaccine which has been shown to you the temperature monitored what is your uh, conclusion that means the vaccine can be used is going to be your conclusion now a male child with repeated urinary infection a maturating cysto urethrogram what is it showing posterior urethral valves is what you are able to see now with regard to this photograph of this baby what is this condition called ichthyosis ichthyosis right doctor so it is transmitted autosomal recessive this is called harlequin body harlequin body right and uh, ichthyosis congenita is what you should fundamentally remember harlequin ichthyosis now the device which is being shown to you in this picture it is the proseal lma proseal lma and uh, at least this ko recognize nahi kare to apman hai boils apparatus is this machine now what is this airway tube which is being shown over here so you should remember it is a laryngeal mask airway laryngeal mask airway i am trying to run very fast so that uh, if you had already took the test yesterday evening only in all whatsapp groups we have put the test link right so you should take the test and come to the uh, discussion it will be very interesting you won't feel it is very fast right so what is this basically used for sister get me the airway so this is basically to maintain the patency of the airway is what you should remember so that is our running race now doctor chemotherapy is recommended in the pre evacuation phase of the molar pregnancy in what scenario if the plateau of the hcg for 6 weeks persistent vaginal bleeding thecal lutein is more than 6 cm size that is all called as persistent trophoblastic disease that is the indication for starting the chemotherapy is what you have to ultimately remember what are the incidence of choriocarcinoma incidence of choriocarcinoma it is with normal pregnancy it is 25% spontaneous abortion it is 25% so spontaneous abortion it is typically 25% hydratiform mole it is 50% and uh, all molar pregnancies eventually 3 to 5% become chorio carcinoma is what you have to remember chorio carcinoma with lung metastasis what is that stage called as the stage is called as the stage b acha bhaiya chorio carcinoma ka figo staging ke bare mein hum ek baar baat karenge figo mein confined only to uterus that is stage 1 extending outside the uterus but still limited to genital structure stage 2 extended to the lungs with or without the genital involvement is stage 3 and uh, extension to the other locations that is brain kidneys liver etc etc is called as stage 4 is what you have to basically remember now what is the dose of the centochromon doctor centochromon is given twice a week cervical stoma has got this kind of uh, racemos what do they call 
racemose glands is what you typically come across. Corpus luteum, first to six weeks of pregnancy, who maintains it? Beta HCG is the one which maintains it. What is human placenta? Discoidal, hemochorial, deciduate, that's how you describe the human placenta. About the placenta, the maternal pole is smaller than the fetal pole. And the human placenta, it is typically vertex. Vertex. Today morning, I have posted a 100 points cup. 100 points ka quick revision video post kiya doctor YouTube mein. Please take a chance to review. Every day when I wake up, no? Like the good old days of neat PG preparation when I was a student. So I take paper, pen, quickly jot down some points for you, right? While having a sip of coffee, I'll quickly do create a video. A quick revision video, inevitable things, revision video, and I post it on the YouTube. So please subscribe to the YouTube uh, dot com slash online MBBS dot com slash online MBBS where you are watching now. Please click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell button. Up to a bell button right there, doctor. Or bell button click karne se the moment we start the broadcasting, will get a notification. Aata, right? So I keep posting you. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Three videos every day I will post you. Quick revision videos. 50 to 100 points where you are at a great risk of forgetance. Right? So, um, I hope uh, you will all be able to enjoy um, the discussion. Right? Huh. Now, Dr. If presenting part most commonly encountered in longitudinal lie is vertex. Which ovarian function test is not dependent on a particular ovarian cycle? Anti-Mullerian hormone. How many of you want to become infertility specialist doctor? Yes. Rajat Kumar is asking a very good point. Sir, you should make a group of telegram for quick revision. You are doing uh, great. But telegram will give more chance. See doctor, always the rule is, even while you are preparing for entrance exam, two is good, three is great, five is best, and beyond five is a gang. Right? I want the 250 serious students. There are a good number of students who will uh, be joining and left 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 hota hai morning 6 am to night to 10 pm if there are about 150 questions coming like a volley and you have to make a discussion beach beach may i'll be posting you some handwritten notes some videos some additional stuff to energize you unless you are a very serious aspirant you will not be part of the group so when you become part of the group, you always have a chance to connect with anybody else and can discover the friends. Getting three to five friends is not difficult. So that is the reason our initial right now we have got almost 40 groups of uh, 40 WhatsApp groups. Hey, every day one new group is getting full. One to two groups are getting full. So my whole idea is that personalization is very much required. Ek bar medical college se hum bahar aane ke baad, हमारे own classmates से थोड़ा दूर हो जाते हैं। so इसलिए हम इसलिए हम coaching को जाते हैं ताकि हमको कोई साथी मिले reading room को जाते हैं। so today with the WhatsApp being a very good social media, it's a good opportunity to become the part of the online mbbs.com WhatsApp group and then discover a classmate, group mate, study mate that is required. I'm always there. Every day I am your classmate, right? So that is my promise to all of you. Now, uh, no, we don't have app. Uh, once upon a time we used to have, but we abandoned it. We don't have app, doctor. We only have WhatsApp and a helpline number. So you want to join means anti-mullerian hormone. Iske baare mein 
Antimalarial hormone is indicative of the size of the growing follicle and is considered to be a marker of the ovarian aging. Ovary vein, the ova are what at the time of birth that we have are the ones which will remain throughout the life of the woman, right? So, infertility specialists will always uh, want to discover what is the ovarian reserve of a woman. So, for that they do the anti-mullerian hormone which is not related to any part of the ovarian cycle is what you have to remember. The woman presents with six weeks of amenorrhea, bleeding per vaginum which is the best screening test. Always first confirm whether she is a pregnant, is there any miscarriage, is there any implantation bleeding etc etc. Now, Threatened abortion ka, threatened abortion mein, threatened abortion mein pain hota hai, bleeding par vijayanam hota hai, soft feeling of cervix hota hai, but external os is closed, external os is closed, that is threatening, threatening, threatening mein external os open nahi rehta, that is the favorite question of the examiner. So any vaginal bleeding in the first half, 20 weeks of pregnancy usually, the first trimester, mild abdominal cramping will be there and it differs from the inevitable abortion in the fact that cervix is closed. If the cervix is open, then it becomes inevitable. Cervix closed, it is threatened. Cervix closed is threatened. Closed is threatened is what you need to remember. And the bleeding is very minimal. And it can complete, it can progress towards a complete uh, abortion is what you have to basically remember, right? Uh, so now doctor, in which type of abortion the gestational age corresponds to the uterine size? That is another important feature of the threatened abortion. Threatened abortion, typically any vaginal bleeding before 20 weeks without dilatation of the cervix without expulsion of any of the products of conception right the vaginal bleeding will be there but it is mild vaginal bleeding plus or minus abdominal pain and if you do the physical examination cervix is closed uterus size is appropriate to the gestational age and ultrasound shows the presence of the fetal heart activity is what you have to basically remember. Softening of the cervix, what do you call doctor? Goodell, Goodell sign, softening of cervix, Chadwick sign, bluish color of the cervix and vagina, Hagar sign, softening of the lower uterine segment, then you find bellotment etc, etc. Now doctor. What is the method of choice for the medical determination of the pregnancy within 12 weeks? Within 12 weeks. So, mifiprostone, misoprostone are for the first trimester methods, doctor. So, uh, classically. Now, congestive dysmenorrhea, where do you see? Whenever there is any fibroid, IUD wearers, PID, there are all the various causes for the congestive dysmenorrhea. Intracytoplasmic injection of the sperm. When will you do it, doctor? Kitna kam ho gaya to? Kitna kam ho gaya to? 5 million. Less than 5 million. So don't forget one of the favorite questions of the examiner WHO standards. World Health Organization ne kaha ki. Sparam ka count kitna hona hai, tail kitna move hona hai, swimming kitna karna hai, butterfly swimming kitna hona hai. So all that semen qualities are decided by Geneva wale, World Health Organization. So please don't forget that uh, important table and you have to mark that table and go to the tomorrow's exam. Infertility hota hai, top topic doctor. Without question on infertility, there is no need to PG. You will remember me in exam form, right? So I hope all of you have that 953 high yield topic list, right? So if you don't have, please call our helpline or WhatsApp our helpline. 
you will immediately will be sent uh, the 953 hot topics card and we already posted it in the whatsapp groups right huh. now doctor hysteroscope procedure is basically done for uterus to look into the uterus now not used in the first trimester obviously intrauterine installation of hypertonic saline hota hai second trimester may right doctor so what do you do in case of intraamniotic installation of the hypertonic saline it is basically done through the abdominal route pulmonary amniocentesis is done and uh, number of weeks of gestation into 10 ml that much amount of saline ko inject karte. it is infused slowly at 10 ml per minute and the induction abortion interval is about 32 hours these are the funda about the intra amniotic installation of hypertonic saline is what you should remember so doctor first trimester may what do you do mifeprestone misoprostol plus mifeprestone methotrexate and misoprostol tamoxifen and misoprostol you should know what do you offer in the first trimester similarly menstrual regulation vacuum aspiration suction evacuation curate touch dilatation and evacuation they're all the first trimester methods so you should know first trimester ka kya hai second trimester ka kya hai this table is there in every textbook every entrance book even it is also available in the powerpoint slides so doctor those who are new to this all these powerpoint slides we upload after this discussion is over a video and this powerpoint both of them will go into our online mbbs.com video library aparam se revision kar sakte right now pregnancy but it is very important point a, a particular table hai na doctor a table yahan bani jana that is important now pregnancy as a result of contraceptive failure can be terminated what is that indication called social indication bhaiya you can india me to get abortion is very easy you can tell sir i want it because i didn't use it now partial mole partial mole may fetus will be there thicker lutein cysts are not that common and uterine size is less than the date they are all true but risk of GTD is only 1% complete mole may it is up to 10% to 15% that is what you need to remember remember all differences between partial mole complete mole fetus kaha reta fetus kaha nahi reta count triploid hota count triploid nahi hota everything you should master doctor many times we discussed all those things in the online mbbs.com video library now doctor inversion of the uterus submucosal fundal fibroid so if this is the fundus the fibroid is hanging like an apple if it is submucosal fundal or fundus go niche kinchega and that lead to development of inversion is what you should remember which type of degeneration is called womb stone Calcine degeneration is called womb stone because it will be radio opaque. And carcinoma of cervix may, where does the carcinomatous process begin? It is in the transformation zone, is what you need to remember. Transverse pericardial sinus, it is between what and what? Between arterial and venous tubes. So you should remember that. You have the superior vena cava and the aorta. So between the arterial and venous tubes, typically you have the transverse venous sinus is what you need to basically remember. Where do you give intercostal injection, doctor? It is in the lower border of the rib. Lower border of the rib. Third esophageal constriction. The moment the esophagus esophagus and the pharynx are meeting each other you have pharyngoesophageal constriction then when the bronchus is crossing you have aortobronchial constriction 
Then when it is entering into the diaphragm, you have the diaphragmatic constriction, the three constrictions, the three constrictions about the esophagus, please don't forget, right? But most important question examiner will ask, what is the distances? 15 centimeters from the incisor is the first constriction. Second, 25 centimeters from the incisor is the second. Third, 41 centimeters from the incisor is the third constriction. Favorite question of the examiner. See, how you should use your Sunday grand test or our uh, everyday evening discussions that we conduct is every day after a test attend karne ke baad, don't get depressed about the score. Score ko goli maro. Pick up 10 topics. Achha bhaiya, ye 10 mein hum improve ho raha hai kyunki pura clean bold ho gaya. Pura clean bold ho gaya. Then you should in the evening go to the reading room and then do the revision. Right? And uh, if you want the revision to be little spiced up instead of opening book, uh, you can always, what you can do is you can go to the online mbbs.com video library and uh, you can go to that particular topic uh, video and then can be able to do the quick revision, right? So that's how you should spice up your preparation. Very, very important out there, right? So you are the best always. 60% knowledge every NITPG aspirant will have, doctor. You have to fill the remaining 25 to 30%. Oh, 25-30% kaha hai kisme mai ekdam clean bald ho guess bhi nahi maar sakta ho what are those areas you should discover the whole purpose of us by posting questions in the whatsapp group challenging your mind every day right and conducting this mock test is to make yourself to get that self realization as to where you are going wrong the moment you are done but the moment you got that self-realization, you are the strongest neat PG aspirant of that, right? Now, continuing our discussion, the second constriction of the esophagus hota hai jaha bronchus crosses it, bronchus crosses it. The angle of the right principal bronchus from the midline, right principal bronchus from the midline, kitna hota hai? It is around 25 degrees, 25 degrees. If you can see here, this is the main trachea became right bronchus, yaha 20 to 30 or left bronchus 45 to 50. Pura mila hai to aapko 75 degrees hai. So totally, if you take normal angle is about 65 degrees, 65 degrees, 65 degrees. 20 hota hai right, 35 hota hai left. You have to be very sure. Subcostal nerve is nothing but the ventral motor remi of the T6 is what you should remember, right? Huh. Now, what is a direct tributary of the superior vena cava? As I guess, see the AK superior vena cava may add ho jayega. So, how is superior vena cava formed, doctor? Right and left denominate veins, as I guess, arch. Typically, they form the superior vena cava. Coronary sinus, it directly opens into right atrium. Generally, most all veins, all veins uh, drain into SVC but, uh, or IVC, but this directly drains into right atrium. It develops from the left to horn of the sinus venosus and its opening is guarded by a semi lunar valve, is what you should remember. What is the blood supply of diaphragm? By a diaphragm ko ek musculophrenic, inferior phrenic, pericardiophrenic. They are all the ones which are supplying. It is the superior phrenic, not middle phrenic. So please remember, musculophrenic, pericardiophrenic, superior phrenic, which is the branch of the thoracic iota. And inferior phrenic, which is the branch of the abdominal iota. They are the ones which are supplying. There is no such thing like middle phrenic supplying it. That is the simple question of the examiner. Can you guess that uh, diaphragm ka blood supply bhi poochta kya? Wo bhi middle hai ya superior hai? Middle hai ya superior hai? 
एग्जामिनर फिल्टर पकड़ के बैठता है आपको फिल्टर करने के लिए सो यू शुड बी सुपर स्पोर्टिव वेन यू गो रॉन्ग इन सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर अमेजॉन टू अटलांटिक यूएस एम एल ई टू नीट पी जी एम एल ई दिस इज द फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ब्रॉन्को पलमोनरी सिगमेंट में मीडियल किसको रहता है मीडियल किसको रहता है अगर आप पेन पेपर लेके ए सिगमेंट्स का एक स्टैंडर्ड वे टू रिमेंबर अगर नहीं बनाए तो एग्जाम में दिक्कत हो जाएगा राइट सो राइट लंग डॉक्टर अपर लोब में एपाइकल पॉस्टीरियर एंटीरियर मिडिल लोब राइट में लैटरल मीडियल लैटरल एंड मीडियल लेफ्ट लंग लेफ्ट लंग अपर लोब में एपाइकल पॉस्टीरियर एंटीरियर एंड लिंगुलर लिंगुला में सुपीरियर इंफीरियर सुपीरियर इंफीरियर देन दिस इज हाउ द लेफ्ट लंग अपर लोब इज टिपिकली लोकेटेड सो ब्रॉन्को पलमोनरी सिगमेंट्स इन द लंग covered segments in the liver without that there is no paper doctor be very sure now what is true about a bronco pulmonary segment it is the largest subdivision of the lobe and the functional unit bronchial arteries typically supply the blood up to what level up to tertiary or respiratory respiratory bronchioles up to respiratory bronchioles bronchial arteries supply bronchial arteries have a direct connection with the aorta aorta left atrial high pressure in mitral stenosis why the patient will have hemoptysis doctor because of the bleeding happening from the bronchial arteries you have the hemoptysis in the case of the mitral stenosis is the favorite question of the examiner internal thoracic artery from where does it arise it is from the first part of the subclavian सबक्लेवियन आर्टरी के फर्स्ट पार्ट से निकलता है इंटरनल थोरेसिक आर्टरी हाउ केन वी फॉरगेट अवर फर्स्ट ईयर एनाटॉमी डेज पहले बार द मोमेंट वी कट द स्टर्नम एंड देन मेक इट ओपन नो लाइक लॉर्ड हनुमान आपको नाइसली दैट इंटरनल थोरेसिक आर्टरी उसके पीछे दिखता है स्ट्रेट रनिंग राइट सो मोस्ट ऑफ अस रिमेंबर सर्टेन कॉमन थिंग्स इन मेडिकल कॉलेज फर्स्ट ईयर एनाटॉमी में राइट दिस इज आल्सो लाइक दैट नॉर्मल एक्सपिरेटरी रिजर्व वॉल्यूम कितना होता है 1200 ml नॉर्मल पल्मोनरी आर्टरी प्रेशर 15 मिलीमीटर ऑफ मेथ्यूरी नॉर्मल पल्मोनरी आर्टरी प्रेशर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर हाउ कैन यू बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट द पल्मोनरी आर्टरी प्रेशर डॉक्टर पल्मोनरी आर्टरी इज अराइजिंग फ्रॉम फ्रॉम राइट वेंट्रिकल अगर पल्मोनरी आर्टरी में प्रेशर बढ़ गया तो राइट वेंट्रिकल में भी प्रेशर बढ़ेगा So, इसलिए 2D डी इको करते हैं टू डी इको में वॉट डू बी टेस्ट आर वी एस पी राइट वेंट्रिकुलर सिस्टॉलिक प्रेशर इज वॉट यू विल कैलकुलेट विच इज एन इनडायरेक्ट मेजर ऑफ द पलमोनरी आर्टरियल प्रेशर सो नॉर्मली द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट विल बी लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो बिकॉज द मेन पलमोनरी आर्टरियल प्रेशर इज हाउ मच फिफ्टीन सो राइट वेंट्रिकुलर सिस्टॉलिक प्रेशर इज Less than twenty-five. So twenty-five to forty. Twenty-five to forty mild. Forty to sixty moderate. More than sixty millimeters mercury of what pressure? R V S P. Right ventricular systolic pressure is an indication of the pulmonary arterial pressure. Is what you should remember. When are chemo receptors located, Doc? Medulla arteriosa bifurcation of the carotid artery, right? Now V by Q ratio at the base of the lung, how much is it? At the apex of the lung, how much is it? You have to be very sure. So, doctor, you should know this very, very important funda. V by Q is 3.3 in the apex of the lung. PaO2 is very high. That's why Mycobacterium tubercle. दामाद बन के अपर लोब में अपना जीवन बिताएगा लाइक ए सन इन लॉ 
the mycobacterium tubercle bacilli lives happily in the upper lobe of the lung. Why? Because upper lobe of lung may be by Q is high. High V by Q means high PaO2. Whereas the lower part of the lung, base of the lung, it is only 0 0.63 and the PaO2 is less than only 89. But one thing you should remember, ventilation is more in the base than in the apex because underlying it is sitting on the diaphragm. Diaphragm is making it up, down, up, down. So ventilation is higher in the base. Perfusion is higher in the base than apex. But V by Q ratio is higher in the apex. That is what you have to remember. What is the total dead space doctor in healthy individual? It is 150 ml. The volume of the A in the dead space is 150 ml is what you have to remember. Turbulent blood flow. When do you see it? Whenever the large diameter of the vessel. So Reynolds number is proportional to the diameter of the vessel. Higher the diameter, higher is the Reynolds. And a critical value of the Reynolds, more than 2000 Reynolds number, the flow become turbulent. So higher diameter blood vessels may the flow become turbulent this is what you have to basically remember. Now, where do you see pericytes, doctor? Pericytes. Apologize me if I am running a little fast. Because uh, our Sunday grantus discussion is not meant for a detailed uh, round. Our Sunday grantus and discussion is meant for precipitating those topics where you are going wrong. That is the reason Mera Pradhana Ap say, please do uh, take the test Saturday evening ko aapko link mil jayega. Become the part of our WhatsApp group, right? WhatsApp group. Or uh, you can also subscribe to our uh, online MBBS.com video library for the next four months. Ke liye, aapko, whatever price you like to pay, we like to give you the uh, login and password activated, right? So you take the test, come to discussion, and then see what topics really you are going wrong, right, doc? So capillaries, capillaries, pericytes and cilia. So this is the arteriole, this is the capillary, and uh, you are able to see the presence of the pericytes. Now, most important factor that decides the strength of the pulse. What is the most important deciding factor? Always the pulse pressure is a differentiator. M3 lead to dilatation of the vessels. C wave, kyo hota hai? C wave. Typically, when the ventricle starts its systole, the time atrial is actually relaxing. When ventricle started the systole, when it started the systole, it will kick the the valve backwards, the valve backwards into the atrium, and that backward bulging of the tricuspid valve into the right atrium will lead to the development of the C wave of the JVP. By chance, if this question is wrong, no doctor, immediately you should go to online mbbs.com video library and then review the topic JVP immediately after the session is over. Right. So, um, yeah. So, next doctor. Most prominent action of angiotensin 2 is it is a powerful vasoconstrictor, angiotensin 2. Now, gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis, the most important amino acid that converts into glucose is alanine. It can occur in kidney and the major location where it occurs in cytosol is the place for the gluconeogenesis is what I want to underscore to all of you. Right? Now, pyruvate kinase. Now, how does fatty acid enter, doctor? Fatty acid after beta oxidation will release acetyl-CoA, acetyl-CoA, but otherwise fatty acids do not convert into glucose. It is the amino acids which convert into glucose, right? Now, pyruvate kinase is inhibited by ATP. Already when you have abundance of abundance of uh, ATP, you don't need to run the citric acid cycle using the acetyl-CoA and creating and releasing energy. So how will the body know that? 
पाइरवेट किनेस काम करे तो पाइरवेट बनेगा एसिटाइल को ये एसिटाइल को ये मिल गया है तो सिट्रिक एसिड साइकिल चलेगा सिट्रिक एसिड साइकिल चले तो एटीपी तैयार होगा इसलिए ऑलरेडी एबंडेंस ऑफ एटीपी है तो वो पीछे आके पाइरवेट से बताएगा कि भैया मैं पाइरवेट एसिटाइल को ये को कन्वर्ट करना बंद करो इस व्हाट इट विल बेसिकली टेल नो डॉक्टर व्हाट इज़ द सिविलर स्टेप इन ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस एंड ग्लाइकोजेनो ग्लाइकोजेनोलाइसिस बोथ ऑफ देम बेसिकली हैव रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ग्लूकोसिक्सफॉस्फेटेस ग्लूकोसिक्सफॉस्फेटेस ब्रेक्स डाउन द ग्लूकोसिक्सफॉस्फेट टू फॉर्म द ग्लूकोस व्हिच इज़ द स्टेप इन द ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस एंड आल्सो इन ग्लाइकोजेनोलाइसिस आल्सो ग्लाइकोजेनोलाइसिस लीड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ग्लूकोसिक्सफॉस्फेट अल्टीमेटली ग्लाइकोजन ब्रेक डाउन ग्लूकोस कैसे रिलीज कर सकता unless its glucose 6 phosphate formed from the glycogen is being converted into glucose by the phosphatase that's the reason it is the common enzyme is what you need to remember now what is the irreversible step of the citric acid cycle alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase is the irreversible step doctor irreversible step whenever there is energy formed that relation become irreversible right energy is like marriage it is irreversible of course divorce is reversible now what is the structure of triglyceride triglyceride hota hai glycerol what is glycerol 1 2 3 propane triol propane triol is glycerol right organic chemistry mein padha hai na so Each hydroxyl is connected with acyl group, acyl group, acyl group. Three acyl groups are the hydroxyl group replaced by glycerol. Me, ye ban gaya hai triglyceride. Is what you need to remember. Hydrogenation of the fatty acids is basically addition of the hydrogen to the unsaturated fatty acid. Is what you have to basically remember. Which is the reaction which is due to the lipid peroxidation? Rancidity is fundamentally lipid peroxidation. What is the end point of fatty acid synthesis? Palmitate is the 16 carbon fatty acid which is being formed, which is called as palmitic acid. Familial hypercholesterolemia. What happens in that? LDL levels will increase. Familial cholesterolemia. What is the type of inheritance, doctor? Favorite question. Please don't forget. Autosomal dominant. Very early patients get coronary artery disease. There is a very high risk of developing heart disease. Legumes may. What is the limiting amino acid? Legumes may. It is the methionine. How is methionine basically formed? Cysteine. So whenever you take dietary protein. उसमें मिथियोनिन रहता मिथियोनिन से होमोसिस्टीन बनेगा होमोसिस्टीन से सिस्टोथायोन बनेगा सिस्टोथायोन से सिस्टीन बनेगा सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट सीक्वेंस व्हिच यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इन दिस प्रोसेस यू शुड नो विटामिन बी6 इज इन्वॉल्वड इन सिस्टोथायोन बीटा सिंथेसिस दैट कन्वर्ट्स होमोसिस्टीन इनटू सिस्टोथायोन यू रिक्वायर विटामिन बी6 इज व्हाट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर and this is the place where serine is making a entry so doctor biochemistry i am telling you 40 topics 20 hours you have to master okay right? so we already have done that in the online mbbs.com video library you have the what are those 40 topics what are those 600 mcqs and what is their discussion what is the power point of them you have everything available in the online mbbs.com video library please kindly do the revision kyunki biochemistry microbiology pharmacology all these subjects doctor very standard kuch bhi badalta nahi 20 saal ke pehle hum wohi biochemistry padhai de rahe aaj bhi wohi padhai de rahe Nothing will change. Examiner's questions will not change. Very standard, right? That is, except the general medicine, little bit of pharmacology. Everything else is the same old, same old, same old, same old, right? So that is the reason. A biochemistry and all these subjects, hundred percent scoring. के लिए try करना है आप. 
especially gynops like subject 30 out of 30 mark yana. placenta previa painless 20 years back today also painless tomorrow also it will be painless April show placenta painful 20 years back 20 years later also examiner want to know the same thing whether you know or not whether placenta previa is painless or not that's the reason I am telling you doctor there is no rocket science very easy like a precipitate labor every not even one minute 15 seconds may answer karke bahar nikalna hai other aap murli baradvaj ka student say to right so you are the super 2000 batch of dr murli baradvaj all top 2000 ranks not just first rank second rank third rank all 2000 ranks you should hit it and come and tell me that sir we did it right now doctor in our body methionine is not produced in our body because it is an essential amino acid so now for the bolo doctor what are essential amino acids phenylalanine valine threonine private tim tryptophan isoleucine methionine hall histidine arginine leucine and lysine is what you have to basically remember right huh. now doctor most important amino acid which acts as a methyl group donor which one it is methionine which is the methyl group donor clostridia which is non-invasive tetany is not invasive sir it only produces a toxin and kill you now clostridium perfringens alpha toxin lead to the negligence reaction and invasive as well as toxigenic perfringens unlike tetany which is only toxigenic Theta toxin is perfringolysin. So these are all the few funda which you have to remember all these single liners doctor. Right? Now, streptococcus pyogenes. What is the true statement? Typically, rheumatic fever is a non superadio complication. Erythrogenic toxin leads to scarlet fever. Glomerular nephritis is the immune complex deposition reaction, is what you need to remember. Acute rheumatic fever, group A, group A, beta hemolytic streptococcus, group A, but beta, beta hemolysis is what you find in case of the acute rheumatic fever. Tetanus, what do you get? Lock jar. What is the culture medium for the streptococcus pneumonia, doctor? Sheep blood agar is the culture medium. What is the most dangerous type of diphtheria? Laryngeal. Now, Mycobacterium leprae, it is the droplets, you can rub your skin against the skin of a leprosy patient. Only thing is don't put your nose under his nose, that's the only thing. Droplet infection is Mycobacterium leprae, generation time is 12 to 13 days. Phenolic glycolipid is the virulence factor. Fata fat, fata fat, katam karna. What is the capsule of the pneumococcus doctor? It is a polysaccharide capsule. That is the reason those who had a autosplenectomy, when there is a spleen uh, or uh, surgically spleen removed, you are worried about the capsulated organisms like pneumococcus. Late lactose fermenter. Whatever. This question you should answer correctly doctor. Keep punching the answers. I am so happy. Anjali, Devabrata, Gautami. Every time I post a video, Devabrata Ray will ceremoniously, religiously say, Thumbs up, thanks, sir. Great video. So, Devabrata Ray, thank you very much for uh, uh, always liking the videos. You know, whenever I come to a class, I only remember, I am one of those troubled classmates of you. Let me tell you. Only if I feel to remember is a tragedy, to recall is a tragedy, big big lists are a tragedy. How to make this preparation more spicy, more interesting? That is one prayer I give and come to the class, right? That helps me to create more useful content which is more useful for all of you for your tomorrow's exam. Right, doctor? Now, that's right. Even uh, Prakash Shrestha also, 
Alex Seth also. Thank you very much. Right now, late lactose ferment. Only thing is, you have to excuse my tute foote Hyderabadi Hindi. Most of the Hindi that I learned is from my Charminar ka. Uh, our Muslim patients bahut Hindi sikhaye. I did my MD general medicine from the most prestigious uh, Nizam's Institute of Medical Sciences. That time in my batch, I was a topper of the entrance exam. So, Irkhan, Gutro me dard ho raha hai, doctor. So, unke saath baat karte karte, samaj me a gaya, toda Hindi, right? And a uh, lot of our students are uh, from the North Indian belt, and of course, Second language is Hindi, Desh ki bhasha hai. Usko nahi samaj mein aaye to hum kya kare. Only thing is, humara Hindi samaj mein aana toda dikkat ho sakta hai. But phir bhi, right? Now, lactose fermenters. Remember, E. coli, Citrobacter, Clebisiella, Entrobacter. Please don't forget this list. Right? Don't forget this list. Now, non-lactose fermenters. Salmonella, Shigella, Proteus, and Ersinia. So you should remember lactose fermenters include lactose fermenters include E. coli, Clebisiella. Late lactose fermenters, Shigella soniae. Shigella soniae is a late lactose fermenter, whereas Shigella flexinary etc. They are all non-lactose fermenters. Salmonella also is a non-lactose fermenter. Please don't forget. Right, doctor? Right. So, trachoma. How does trachoma occur? A, B, C lead to trachoma. L1, L2, L3, where is it? Lymphogranuloma, Viriram. Chlamydia. What is true about chlamydia? Typically, the infective form to the host cell in chlamydia is elementary body. Chlamydia ke life cycle ko hum bahut acha discussion kiye the. Or you will get it in the microbiology video library in the online mbbs.com. Please go and uh, do the revision. Right, doctor? Now, elementary body. Chlamydia is also associated with reticulate body. So, you should remember. Typically, this is the cell nucleus, doctor. There is a formation of the reticulate, reticulate body. It will undergo multiplication by binary fission and form the reticulate body, right? Then, from the reticulate body, elementary bodies are formed. The multiplication ceases and uh, typically the extracellular infectious elementary bodies become released. So, the whole story may, what is the buzzword you need to remember, doctor, for tomorrow's exam? Elementary, elementary is infective. Elementary, infective. Elementary, infective. Right? That is what? Not the reticulate. Not the reticulate is what you should remember. Now, doctor, what is the temperature required for the isolation of the Campylobacter? It is around 42 degrees Celsius. What is the most salt retaining glucocorticoid? Glucocorticoids are not supposed to have mineralocorticoid activity. But which is the one which has the highest amount? It is the hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone. f corling 100 milligram injection. They no doctor. That is hydrocortisone. It's called glucocorticoid one, mineralocorticoid one. Prednisolone. Four times glucocorticoid activity 0.8 is mineralocorticoid dexamethasone 30 times glucocorticoid betamethasone 30 times glucocorticoid and aldosterone is 80 times mineralocorticoid mineralocorticoid that is what you need to remember and uh, fludrocortisone fludrocortisone it is 10 times glucocorticoid 125 times mineralocorticoid is what you have to Ultimately, remember. Now, doctor, which glucocorticoid has zero mineralocorticoid activity? Triamcinolone has zero mineralocorticoid activity. Which is a long-acting, long-acting 
glucocorticoid doctor, dexamethasone, dexamethasone, dashavatar, dashavatar means kaliyuk, tritayuk, dvaparyuk, sadayuk ko dexamethasone extends, right, long acting is what you should remember. Maximum hypoglycemia, sulfonylurea are the secretor gox, secretor gox which release the insulin. That is the reason there is a great risk of developing oral hypoglycemia is what you need to remember. Venous thromboembolism typically is more common with the, the third generation oral contraceptive pills which are having the progesterone as a very important component. Now, bromocryptine is agonistant, the domo dopamine receptor, which is that dopamine receptor where it is agonist, it is agonist at the D2 receptor, D2 receptor. So, bromocryptine pramipexol, these are the dopamine receptor, dopamine receptor agonist doctor. So, where do they act? They act on the peripheral D2 receptors. And pramipexol is an agonist at D2 and also D3 receptor in the brain. That is what you need to remember. Once more, I like to tell you, Dr. O, Mere Dr. O, Mere Pyare Dr. O, 1100 MCQs, last 15 years of All India Neat PG, All India Neat PG, organized into 45 hot topics have been discussed over a period of 25 hours and made available in the online mbbs.com video library. Hum Rose Sham Pe Chacha Chai Pe Chacha earlier days we used to do it 6 to 8 nowadays we are doing it 7 o'clock 8 o'clock right and uh, I am delivering this session sitting in the home in Hyderabad earlier I need to go to a center and deliver so that's the reason I need to go at 6 o'clock now I can sit any time, aap bhi ghar mein, hum bhi ghar mein, enjoy karenge discussion ko. So even at any time, right? So please call our helpline 9000868356 in order to get the subscription to the online mbbs.com video library where you have this uh, 45, 45 topics, 25 hours invest karo. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. 20 out of 20 pharmacology may all India tomorrow forthcoming need PG may you will be able to just 25 hours you invest in the time in reviewing those video library on pharmacology I am very sure you will become great in pharmacology that is very important pharmacology is one subject clean ball kabhi nahi hona that is an important indicator candidate kaisa hai prepare hua pharmacology is a very important indicator now doctor APTT, heparin ke liye required but not for low molecular weight heparin, don't require APTT, don't require monitoring. Now, which drug is vasopressin V2 receptor selective agonist desmopressin? Darbopoietin, erythropoietin ka bada bhai, darbopoietin. Where will you use doctor? Whenever there is any chronic renal failure, if I am unable to produce erythropoietin in chronic renal failure and there is a anemia, that is the place where Dorbopoietin is having a very, very important role is what you should remember. Why do you give statin in the night, doctor? Raat kyo de rahe ho bhai statin ko? No special reason, sir. HMG koi reductase activity is maximum in the midnight. Kabhi kabhi, uh, when we will finish our discussion on physiology, Ranjit is asking a question. Karenge, karenge. Kal se we will restart our, uh, continue our physiology discussion. Already I think in physiology we finished around 250 out of 700 MCQ bank. Right? So, every day evening 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. whenever we have. Jitna mood hai utna der tak bai denge padai karenge. Right? We have a discussion doctor every day on the YouTube. Right? Only thing is, after the discussion, we will remove the video and upload it into online MBBS video, online MBBS.com video library. That's the only thing. But during live session, please participate. All your online classmates are waiting for you. 
सो स्टार्टिंग का कुछ स्पेशल रीजन नहीं है एच एम जी क्वेज एक्टिविटी मैक्सिमम रात में होता है इसलिए स्टार्टिंग रात को दे दो दट इज टिपिकल प्लान राइट हाँ ना डॉक्टर रसूबर स्टार्टिंग कैन बी गिवन इन द मॉर्निंग वाई because it has got a long plasma half life that's the reason rifampicin is never given if the patient develops which side effect of uh, rifampicin thrombocytopenia agar develop ho gaya to it is a hypersensitivity reaction so that is the reason don't give rifampicin don't give rifampicin if thrombocytopenia develops next time not ko dega hepatitis thodi din ke liye rifampicin ruko बाद में दे दो चलेगा बट नॉट फॉर थ्रॉम्बोसाइटोपीनियाडिनलेशन रूबर रेडनेस टूमर स्वेलिंग कलर राइट दे आर ऑल stellate granuloma where do we see typically we see it in cat scratch disease cat scratch disease it is a self limited lymphadenitis bartonella hanselle is the cat scratch primarily in the children encephalitis osteomyelitis thrombocytopenia they are all the features of cat scratch sarcoid like granuloma sarcoid like granuloma will be typically found this is the sarcoid like uh, uh, granulomas which are stellate star dikh rahe hai kya aapko mujhe to thoda nahi dikh rahe right so pathology means you have to imagine everything right ha it is a ocular masturbation so typically you should remember it is a stellate necrotizing granuloma is cat scratch disease is what you should remember now doctor what is the correct sequence of events in the case of the acute inflammation acute inflammation margination rolling adhesion transmigration that the different phases of the acute inflammation ab bhi aa gaya the mother of all mcqs is inflammation which will help in movement and adhesion let me check what is your answer क्वेश्चन नंबर 295 क्वेश्चन नंबर मार के आंसर मारो क्वेश्चन नंबर मार के आंसर मारो यस व्हिच विल हेल्प इन मूवमेंट एंड रिडेशन डॉक्टर फटाफट 295 लेट मी चेक व्हाट इज योर आंसर ऑन दिस नेस्टी क्वेश्चन राइट हां क्विक आंसर यस अह गौतमी इज थिंकिंग uh got to be what is your answer i missed it b a uh? okay okay lt b for you thought eh okay avinash devabrata or uh, alexey prashant hats off super duper cd 31 very proud of you guys so you should remember these addition molecules addition molecules very clearly dot by yeah cd54 ecom1 cd102 ecom2 ecom3 cd50 vicom1 cd106 picom1 cd31 picom1 hota hai platelet endothelial cell addition molecule 1 take a snap and then remember this this is the favorite question of the examiner inflammation may inflammation may cruel question of the examiner in neat pg cruel ekdam number one cruel but cruelty is required to filter there is no other way we are all like uh, ashka jani and juice eh? we are like a concentration camp of examiner i say questions puch ke बोलेगा कि भैया नेक्स्ट ईयर आओ इस ईयर नहीं मिलता क्योंकि सीडी थर्टी वन याद रखने वाला लोग वेटिंग कर रहे हैं तू याद नहीं रखा ना सो प्लीज गो ही विल से दैट्स रीजन राइट सो दैट्स नथिंग कॉल्ड इंटेलिजेंस डॉक्टर 
perseverance, focus, knowing what examiner wanted, solving the 30,000 MCQs last 15 years, which are all discussed, debated, and made available in the online MBBS.com video library. Right? Huh. Now, doctor, slow mediators of inflammation are typically the leukotrienes. Systemic inflammatory response syndrome may fever hota, leukocytosis hota, altered mental status hota, hypoglycemia nahi hota, SIRS mein. The C3 complement is cleared by the CD55. CD55. The major basic protein is basically produced by, it is produced by the isnophil is what you need to remember. Right? HLA2, what is it associated with? It is associated with the mixed leukocyte reaction. All HLAs ka ek numbers hai doctor. If you have not formed the number, today evening I will put one video. Batti, batti barne wala video. Ek jamane mein just ball batti comedy show hota na waisa. Just ball batti comedy show ke jese. Batti barne wale chizon ko a paper will be written, Satyo ke saath baitna. Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Govindam, Bhaja Mooda Mate. Revision karna, there is no other shortcut. So thank you very much. And signing out and uh, enjoy the preparation. Ask your classmates to come to the WhatsApp groups. If you want the WhatsApp group uh, to be included, want an invitation link. You know what is the helpline number of us to call and enjoy the preparation and tomorrow once more evening 7 o'clock we will all meet and uh, discuss about 100 MCQs every day evening on the YouTube. Thank you very much and a great weekend. Good night.